did you start out experimentally or computationally to study viruses, or did they become a serviceable, good model for you to study evolution? Uh, I started my career as an experimental virologist, uh, mm, trying to study RNA viruses, maybe without outstanding success. Uh, but uh, mm, soon after, uh, mm, uh, these RNA viruses have indeed become uh, mm, um, an excellent, probably best at the time, playground uh, for the uh, emerging discipline of comparative genomics because for the simple reasons that uh, at the time, these were the complete genomes that could, could be sequenced, not larger ones of cellular organisms or even very large uh, viruses. So the approaches, concepts, and methodologies uh, mm, could be tried uh, efficiently on, this, on these objects, and they were. What got you into the computational tools for understanding viruses? At the time I was starting this, which was quite a while ago, a few decades ago already, um, mm, uh, the first uh, complete genomes uh, of any biological entities um, mm, have started to accumulate. And these biological entities at the time were exclusively small viruses, mm -hmm. various kinds, but all small uh, viruses. And these represented both an opportunity and a challenge. Um, an opportunity because these were complete genomes to compare and try to understand. A challenge uh, because without special effort, without, without developing dedicated computational approaches, uh, very little could be understood from those uh, sequences. In a sense, uh, they were a disappointment because it oh. was a technological achievement. But at the same time, these were just long strings of four letters uh, from which no one could really understand much. That required special efforts. I don't think that the community at the time was entirely prepared for that situation. But that was rectified fairly soon. And I, I'm very pleased to have played some role in that. 